It's uh, Friday the 13th, sorry it's been a while since I've made a video, back issues not going away. Um, so I've just seen, I'm just watching Russia today as I do every day, I watch most of the news channels just to try and take some of the lies and things that are being pushed by mainstream media and uh, have a look, see what's going on. And what I tend to find is Russia today speaks a lot of truth. And what has just come on the television has been a bit of a shock. I saw a little banner going across the bottom of the screen for it. So uh, it said, video shows UK police uh, mistreating a disabled 85-year-old woman. And it kind of reflects what's going on everywhere else around the world. You know, you've got the police brutality in America. You had police brutality in Cal Catalonia. There's been police brutality just about everywhere in the world and why is that well this actually comes under the protocols uh, of the learned elders of zion and in a section in there and if you google the, the protocols of the learned elders of zion you will see ruthless suppression and this woman was uh, literally protesting peacefully at a anti-fracking uh, demonstration which is obviously where they pump vast sums of chemicalized water into shale uh, to release the, uh, the release the gases in very small amounts I might add uh, but that then contaminates the water table this is all part of agenda 21 this is all part of eventually poisoning us through the water su supply and say oh we shouldn't have done the fracking yeah, because that's what will come out in the future when people start to get really sick from the contaminated water. That's just how they'll deal with it. But essentially, I want you to watch this, watch this clip, because it won't be shown on the BBC, I doubt, or ITV, or Channel 4, or any of the others. Russia today seems to be the only people that actually report stuff like this. And it is quite disgusting. This woman being dragged across the road by British police. And see what they say afterwards. I'm just... I'm fucking disgusted at it. And this is the new world order. This is the ruthless suppression. Police are controlled by government. They're getting more militized. They're looking like they're going to war when they're, you know, going to a protest. And it's it's to create more fear. And so the people, oh no, the state is closing in. Yeah, David Icke talks about it quite a lot. You should tune into that guy as well. Here we go. Make sure it's up loud enough. British police have been caught on camera mistreating a disabled 85-year-old woman at a peaceful fracking protest. Unbelievable. You got smacked in the face there, look. You mean to tell me you came out of the house this morning to drag an 85-year-old woman across the road? There's no way that, that, that you could have an officer on her legs lifting her legs up. You will next time. You will next time. Fucking you disgusting. Yeah. Police released a statement insisting no complaint has been received over the incident. However, the pensioner says her shoulders were bruised and she also says she was so traumatized that she's having trouble trying to sleep. There's also a massive online backlash against the officers. An anti-fracking campaigner and member of Britain's Green Party hit out at the police. Similar to the issue of police brutality in the USA, police must do their jobs to keep us safe. But was a disabled woman that much of a threat? Awful to see Anne being dragged like a rag doll over the road by police, but they will move her more carefully next time, or it's fail. Put people in a uniform, give them some authority, cut them some slack, and you can quite easily create a monster. Absolutely shocked to see the, uh, the video of her being dragged across the road. She's a peaceful woman as well. Um, I've been at Preston New Road with her a few times and she will sit and she will talk and she will hold up a, a, an anti-fracking sign and I've never once seen her sort of um, provoke. She's uh, passionate and um, persistent. She is still a 85 year old woman. I spoke to her today and she's exhausted because she said she's really struggling to sleep since she's so angry and upset it's a real shame when the way it's being policed actually 
takes the attention away from the reason that we're all there. So there you go, that's RT's take on it. I hope it's been helpful. I want you to, you know, switch Russia Today on before they ban it like they have in the US. A um, bit like Amazon recently did a bit of a book burning uh, for people that wish to maybe question what went on 60 years ago in the uh, in the Second World War and the, and the concentration camps. Yeah, Amazon's actually pulled every single book that questions that event off of the shelf. And that's as well as uh, Netanyahu saying, uh, you know, to be anti-Zionist is to be anti-Semitic, even though you don't actually need to be uh, a Jew to be a Zionist. And here's the other thing. I've got to be honest, with regards to anti-Semitism, it does actually say in the protocols of the learned elders of Zion that, you know, anti-Semitism was created by world Jewry and it is used to manage the lesser brethren. OK, that's why they won't let this event go from... 60 years ago and i'm not being funny i don't really wish to offend anyone because i'm not anti-jew i'm you know very pro you know orthodox jews orthodox christians that's their faith yeah but to say that you know here's the thing right how many people have died in africa from famine and starvation how many people have died in afghanistan and Iraq from illegal wars, and in Syria, where we're allegedly going to give these people a democracy, and Libya, and end up destroying the country, just decimating it, yeah? And um, the uh, Foreign Security Council in Syria has asked for the US-led coalition against ISIS to be finished because ISIS is, um, the US has been doing nothing but attacking Syrian infrastructure, killing civilians, and not actually attacking ISIS, whereas Russia has actually been attacking ISIS and making good ground against them. And they're in their last hold now, which is Damascus. And I presume that's going pretty well. But the fact of the matter is, is that mainstream media lies to us. You know, Tony Blair took us to war in Iraq based on a lie. And then it got admitted and people still believe what's on the news. You need to get your news from other news sources. Al Jazeera, Russia Today are just two that I listen to. I do listen to the BBC just to see what propaganda they're pushing out. But please, you might not see this on the internet or, or on, on, on our news. And if you do see it on our news, I doubt you'll see the policeman saying that, oh, you know, we'll, we'll carry her legs next time. She was 85. And the brutality, well, it has obviously no boundaries. So... Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing if you do. Namaste. Peace and love to you all. And let's spread truth to each other.